Hello, hello, ho, ho, ho. to a Walmart DC it's going to be a minimum of three hours so ain't no Sanchi coming there with some damn attitude like what like, oh man I gotta wait no fucking shit I got mobile stops that does not matter it's going to be three hours the other stops depend upon your first stop just the way it is. I mean, at least you get an hour at the time. I mean, I got two. I mean, if I know three, I get 20 bucks an hour. Woo! Yeah, if, I, if, if I was running under another authority, or even my own, I'd be around about 75 bucks an hour. Not there yet. Don't have a towel yet, so it is what it is. But showing up with an attitude, bad attitude, everyone has an attitude, some good, some bad. It's just and you're not going if if your truck's not up by the guard shack, stay in your truck. There's no sense in walking up, you're not gonna speed up the process at all. going to not going to I was over at the DC at um was it Meebane North Carolina this is Melbane Box Bane, I don't know, Section 8, um, I'm talking about languages. M E B A N E, North Carolina. A fairly new one. Probably around for a couple years, of course, it's A on this, um, Grand McNally piece of shit. There it is. Or something's supposed to be, oh, so good. Fucking sucks. It's not updated. It might do what it says in the update, but the road's been around for at least two years since I own that. That's not updated to today's times. Coming in with an attitude, it's gonna make it worse on yourself. You know, blood pressure, you know, certain drivers, you know, black Americans, you know, they have an issue of blood pressure. And this person happened to be kind of, it'd be, I guess, maybe 50%. Yeah. But, um, it's gonna be my skin color. So, good chance, because genetics might be blood pressure. Um, try not to get upset at things you can't really change. Yeah, it might suck. I mean, there's a lot of things that's so ate up, like a daggum football bat with the company I'm leased under. But... don't have the authority to change but we'll have the freedom once I get my title to leave that'll be a change only 
only thing they can do is have me stay is let me book my own loads under their authority. And I doubt they won't, they still fuck that shit up too. Well, kids, 20 something. No common sense. Yeah. Learning curve, learning curve. Can't afford the learning curve. Got now. He's doing. He's doing. Well, he's allowed to. He's doing all right. But get my title. I'm gone. I got like 15 days or so. I got to get me a DOT physical, which I like to go get down to the Olive Branch. to worry about that except for the fact that's something I need, need to take care of. But coming to Walmart at least three hours. Minimum. You know, a lot of them you know, back trail up to the thing, detach, you park with other people. Hop, get some sleep. Got multiple stops. Stop, get some sleep. <sighs> I mean, at this DC, at me, Bane, ain't no mail Bane because there's no L. They've got a new. But pilot and gloves. 152. Oh my god. And they'll be full pretty real quick, like before it gets dark. But exit uh, west 252, number 250. We have two pilots. One used to be Speedway. And um, it's eight, almost nine right now. There are spots all over the place. One exit difference. So, yeah, my next load. About an hour away. This is like throwing high value. What's I supposed to do? High value bullshit. My pay don't go up, so I give a fuck don't keep it go up. I mean, when I first started driving, I was like, okay, okay, dokie, let's go, yay! But my asshole hurts too much, so, you know, so I give a fuck goes down. I got 10 o'clock. Vince in North Carolina. It's about an hour away. I actually got called in. I almost, almost boo boo. I almost screwed up big time when I went to deliver this load. I just happened to be ignoring GPSs and not really paying much attention to them. He's wrong. And sometimes, if the other companies running as a DC, Where I think it's a Walmart, you go walk in, try to check in, and they go, oh, they're closed. I tell them, oh man, they're closed. You know? And then I get a phone call from Beacon Dispatch, and they ask me about it, oh yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, wait just a minute. Let me look at my Google GPS. This thing didn't have it on the road. I'm like, oh shit, I'm at the wrong place. I was like, have a block away, but all the woods would not, couldn't see it. And then he called my kid and said they're open. I'm like, they're right. I'm, I'm the idiot. I the wrong place. So I almost screwed up my sales on time. But, um, and this goes to Tifton. Tifton. Center, 
in, well, guess what? Tipton, Georgia. Give me back all of these junkies up to Georgia and just drop it off Memphis. And I'll be home. I'll be off. Let's see here. I've got my calendar. What do you think it does? Drop it off on the second. supposed to meet me but I guess his pussy started hurting now he makes way more than me has a, um, a Prius old one old four or something like that but he's like oh this man might go all my way but yeah just you pick your brother up oh my god you could have just said you know what brother just don't worry about it then you go, okay, okay, I'll pick you up later. You know. I'm just giving it to him because I'm gonna give him shit the whole way. And we stay in his friend's house. And I'm gonna have his friend give him shit too. That's how I'm getting back. I'm like, huh? Right. You gonna eat you gonna have, eat some humble pie there, bro. Being tactical. I love my brother, I mean, I really do. He probably goes some shit. Um, nice little road trip. He's going up to Illinois. Nice little road trip with him. Give him shit all the way up there, you know. Punching on him. Give him a Dutch rub, you know. <laughs> I'm stronger than he is. We get mad enough so we won't attack him. Like, man, it's attack him. Like, come on there, bro. Let's get, let's get medieval. Let's have fun. We have a ball for once. Did your wife give him to you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm an asshole. But, anyways. Did your wife give him back to you? <laughs> yeah, I might be divorced, but I'm happy. Women don't, women don't know the damn place, so I already got three sons. Bloodline, going on to another generation. They're genetically going to be, be my boys. I mean, not be mama's boys. I mean, the two youngest ones, they're in that phase. But Or maybe just the oldest one be that way. Oh well, one out of three ain't too bad. Do, do, do. You know, it's daddy's boy. My mom, bless her heart, because her condition, and just, I don't know, couldn't get that close. She loved me. I mean, I'd take her off. She'd throw furniture at me. But um, that was normal. Because I'd, I'd pest her. Pest her. Ah, yeah. Good memories. Good memories. And she could find it. She'd beat my dad's ass. My dad just wouldn't hit a woman. <laughs> but some things he pulled, stunts he pulled, they'd find the answer around sometimes. Yeah. Don't blame my mother for beating my dad's ass. But then don't blame my dad for doing something he did, you know. 
try to find someone else. But anyhow, so my kids, my ex wife remarried, someone else who's similar attitudes I do. She hadn't changed. She'll prefer her parents. I'm like, I, mean, I knew something was going on. Why would she want to get remarried? And you know, oh, well, God sees she's being married. I'm like, well, now God sees us being divorced? I don't know. You got, well, you, you, you talk to God? I mean, been on drugs? You on drugs? Like she asked me, no. Um, but I'm like, all right, you made your choice. You know, reap what you sow. Just went along with it. Um, I don't have to cook for myself. I get free beer if it's there. I like to, no, no, because um, the husband is in for a lot of fucking heartache. She'll be working hard. Money's just not there. And there's all oh, bills, bills, bills. Not no. Uh, here's a budget. This one's been this on. If I care to do that, oh my god. You're talking to me like a dog. No, I'm treating your ass, treating your ass out like an adult. Soldier. Dog is talking about she's tough. I'd like she's tough, but she won't stand up to her mother. Got excuses. Half stuff she says, take Grand Stall because she likes to tell stories. Mental problem, but most social workers they got mental issues they want to deal with, so they become a social worker. One of them is being liberal, and that's a mental disorder. But it's it's all for now.